Hello, this is IPSer, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, part of the finale marathon. Now, um, today I'm gonna try to cheese in the rest of this LP. Yeah, like, I'm gonna try my best to update, like, the rest of the LP today. I might not get it, but I'm gonna try. So we get the sword now, and boss time against the Weverin. Oh, <laughs> the worst friggin' translation ever. Like Bahamut, it uses Mega Nuke. But it, huh, it should have killed Rosa. <laughs> it's pretty much my strategy to bring her back to life, but don't worry about Edge. Keep him dead. But the real name of this guy is Dark Bahamut. That's what it's supposed to be. But do we get Dark Bahamut? Even D Bahamut. D Baham. No. We get Weverin. Really stupid, so. Pretty much what you want to do is spam Sylph with Rydia in there. And you want to pretty much... Yeah, Mega Nuke. See, this is why you want to do that. And then you want to spam Cure 4 with Rosa. And then have Kane and Cecil never stopping to attack. If you're playing any other version with the item and sequence weapons, you would use Bacchus lines on um, Cecil and Kane. But unfortunately, that's not in the American version, is it, game? Nope. So, this is what we're stuck with. So, let's take him out. Sylph. Sylph is not going to do much damage, but it's going to uh, help tremendously with staying alive. So, that's a uh, handy dandy little thing there. Now, you could take the time to revive Edge with any of your physical attackers, but there's a chance that he could just die again with that or um, Mega Duke. If you had the spell, it'd be funny to use it on him and have him use what's its face on you. Huh. You know, if only this game had something like Final Fantasy VI in which you can have auto reflect. But unfortunately, it doesn't. That's no hint anything. You, if we would have gotten something like that, we would have gotten it now. I mean, I would have liked if they, like on Final Fantasy VI, relics give you certain statuses before you enter battle. I would have liked. See, look, revived Edge. He just died again. So, I mean, I would have liked it. I, I'm gonna use Bahamut since you know, I really we're good health. Yeah. But, um, I forgot what I was saying. Yep, Kane's dead. Crap. Cure foe! Yeah, I might not even have this. Yeah, this battle is hard. Yeah, it's not easy. I'll, I'll tell you that, viewers. I'll tell you that now. But this is unfortunately not the hardest boss here. And we got him! In my perspective, those, that's probably the only thing harder than, uh, Red Dragon. Anyway, we get the crystal, which is supposed to be Ragnarok. Now, that just makes me mad how horrible of a translation that is. I mean, crystal, the best sword in the game for now, and not one of the little 99 cheap weapons, which I'm not going to worry about. Um, it raises your attack high. It's supposed to be Ragnarok. That, that lack of translation just makes me mad. I mean, really, there's no way you could have been that bad at translating something. I mean, Ragnarok, Crystal, really? Well, I guess they did it to match with the um, Crystal armor you've been getting, but I mean, seriously, what do you think sounds cooler, viewers, Ragnarok or Crystal? Yeah, I think on that. Anyway, well, when I'm walking, I'm just going to fast forward to backtrack where I was. Yeah, we're going to go back to that invisible bridge now. There's nothing else we can do over here. Yeah, so, take him out. Any day now. You know, you can die any day now. That'd be nice. <laughs> Go to an old person and say that. See what they do. <laughs> Probably give you a big can of whoopo. Yeah. How many of you here um, play that Champions Online game? That free one? Anybody? Well, I'm installing it right now, actually. I haven't played it yet. I'm installing it right now. I, my brother recommended it to me, so it looks pretty fun. Yeah. I'm trying to... He said it's like World of Warcraft, except with superheroes, which... Me and him were getting kind of sick of the same old World of Warcraft feel anyway, like, the whole... Yeah, just, we're just getting sick of World of Warcraft, and we want to, like, we like the gameplay of it, but we just want another game like it, so... It's a good thing I'm finding that right at the end of this LP. Yeah. One, thing's, one thing's for sure, that I'll never quit being obsessed with my LPs. So anyway, let's go to the right bridge now. There's nothing else we can do to the on the left bridge anymore, so... 
Yeah, that's an upside. At least we're... I'd say we're about... Eh, roughly 64% way through this final area. Yeah, it's pretty long. Yeah. Okay, let's still damage to them. Again, you can equip the Ogre Axe and Fairy Claw here and take them out easy, but, you know, I'm not gonna worry about that. Too much work and might as well kill them barely <laughs> and overkill them. <laughs> yeah, that's my saying in RPGs, viewers. Alright, so... I like how they actually made Rosa useful. How, like, um, in other RP... Mostly Final Fantasies, I'm just gonna use that. I'm gonna really use Final Fantasy X as an example. Yuna... At the beginning, you, of course, can set him on in any path on the Sphere Grid. Um, really sucks, because her attack is really low, and all she can do is heal. What do you do when her turn's coming around? What do you do? The thing I like about Rosa is she can actually equip a weapon that can deal decent damage. So, I like that. Yeah, and the thing I also like about this game is, um, it's obvious you have to have your magic users in the back row. I mean, why would you even ha think about having Rydia and... Rosa in the front row, and the others in the back row, I mean, really. Um, the thing I like is, Rosa and Rydia both get significant weapons. Well, no, Rosa can use, Rydia can use, um, um, bows, but, but, um, whips are better for her. I mean, whips and bows do full power from the back row, so I like that. You could have that, and everybody could still be getting the full gist of their, um, might power fights. Yeah, I like that. So, for this battle, we obtain a, um, a heroine. Let's see who that's equipable to. I don't really remember this piece. But, I really didn't think that's what we'd get in that chest. <laughs> Let's see, is it equipable on edge? No. It must be something for the light users, because why would we want to give cloth on to Cecil or Kane? So, let's see if I can go on her. Oh, okay, um. Yeah, it takes down her magic by a few points, but that's just too much defense to ignore. It also takes away her attack power, which pretty much is useless to us for Rydia and Rosa now. I mean, I like how they do can physical damage, but I'm not going to be doing that. I mean, I'll say that. I mean, except for Rosa on the dragon enemies. Um, but I'm only going to equip it on her, because, well, I mean, that's just too much defense to ignore viewers. I mean, really. And two triggers in a row. Wow. Yeah, I've decided also, whenever I finish this LP, I have a long way. I'm like, I looked at the money source I have for my laptop, and I am nowhere near ready. So I'm just going to go ahead and start another LP after I finish this. Um, I'll have six going on, and I'll start one that I'm not going to tell you all about right now. You'll just have to wait. Okay, so we have another D fossil, dragon or dinosaur fossil, whichever one. Um... Of course, now, Cecil with the Crystal, which is wholly elemental, just like the Excalibur, um, deals max damage to the Dragon Fossils, because they're considered undead enemies. Which, of course, if you could use life on your opponents, to kill them in one hit. Alright, so here we get a safe point. Hmm, there must be a really hard boss coming up. What do you think, viewers? Nah. Nah. It's gonna be easy. Yeah. So we come in here, and we get another legendary weapon! So let's go get that. Whoa. What's going on? It looks like a lance for Kane. Lance of white. Alright. For boss time against the plague. Hmm, it looks similar to the fatal eyes. I wonder if they're not count. Holy crap! Yeah, don't worry about anything. Everybody's gonna be defensive on this battle. This is probably the hardest boss fight here. Just because you have to kill this guy as fast as you friggin' can before Count gets down. Because unless he casts fast and it works on somebody, yeah, it, people are gonna be dead. So, let's hurry and take him out. Full power, all the way, Bahamut. Almost got him. We're getting him. Yeah, this guy's hard. No, walk through the park here. Pretty much use white with Rosa. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Yes! Yes! How did I do that on my first try? <laughs> yeah, that mom made him look a lot easier than he actually was. He is horrible. Huh. Anyway, for that we get the White Lance. Essentially, in my opinion, the greatest weapon for Kane. Um... 
You know, look at that attack power. Holy cow, it doesn't raise as much as Cecil's did, and it takes his defense down a little, but you know, he's gonna be in the air most of the time, so that doesn't matter. So yeah, I like that. I mean, that was hard, man. I mean, that looked out a lot easier. I made that look a lot easier than it actually was, so. Let's take out this Kingru and this Gingru. You know, any day now. The thing I hate about fast forwarding is you're um, happily playing along, but I recorded this actually last night at like 3 in the morning, and then I got like hallucinated and like passed out in my chair. <laughs> but, um, I think I don't remember what I did, so I don't remember if I fast forwarded or not, so I'm playing. Hey, look, let's get these chests. Ribbons for boss time against the dual dragon lunars. Yeah, these guys are tough. Anyway, pretty much Cecil and Kane is going to take these guys out fast. Cecil's going to do max damage every time. But there's a reason these guys are guarding the um, ribbons, actually. They are, they are essentially the greatest headpieces in the game for anybody. Except for Cecil. Cecil doesn't. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. Cecil doesn't really need them because it makes you immune to every status element in the book. And Cecil already has the crystal armor to do that, so, um... Rydia... We get two of them, so Rydia and Rosa is gonna get them. Now, if you get the other ones from, like, Warlocks, I would recommend, even though it sucks in defense... Um... Well... The last boss doesn't really afflict status elements, so... Never mind, just keep your high defense thorns on. Yeah. Bahamut! Bahamut! Man! Yeah, it might have been a better idea to use the Mist Dragon. Because I think that's Holy Elemental, but... No, I don't know. Ow! Okay, we gotta hurry and take this guy. I'm out of lives and Rose is dead. I've got to hurry. He's not hurting that bad. I mean, if we keep going, we'll get him. I don't know why this one has so much more HP than the other one. I mean, I don't know if it really does, but it seems like it. Doesn't it, viewers? Whoo! Ha! <laughs> we got him. Okay, so, huh, that was a close one. So let's get these ribbons now. Let's go ahead and snag them real quick. And then we're going to have to head back to the... Now I'm just going to run for battles until we get Rosa resurrected. Yeah, I don't want to take a risk. So here we get a ribbon and a ribbon! So right now we can only equip one on Rydia since Rosa's dead, of course. Swoon! <laughs> so let's go ahead and give that to her. The ribbon. Alright, slightly better in defense, but, you know, eh. I mean, a crazy amount of status element protection, so, yeah, Ribbon, amazing. Just amazing, obscene. Anyway, um, I'm gonna resurrect Rosa now and get that on her. And this seems like a pretty good place to cut off. Now, this has been IEPS here with Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Again, I'm going to try to finish this LP today. I'm going to try to post out the rest of the videos it'll take me to finish it today. But just until then, this has been IPS, and hope you stay tuned next time as we continue the Final Fantasy IV Finale Marathon. IPS, 1, 2, 3, 4, like a baby, signing out. Have a nice day.